so today we are going to discuss the problem meeting rooms it is a very important classical problem of 3d algorithm i have personally seen variation of this problem in coding assessments of various companies so now let's understand the problem so given an array of meetings consisting of start time and end time we have to find minimum number of conference rooms so if this is our input array each element in itself is the array which consists of start time and end time so if this is our uh, number of so our input is like this each element in itself is an array and it consists of start time and end time so we have been given an array of meeting intervals so the first thing that we have to do is here we will sort the array so that we come to know what meeting is next so the first thing that we will do here is we will sort the array so that we come to know which meeting is next in the schedule so what we will do is we will so the first thing that we will do here is we will sort the array so that we come to know which meeting is next in the schedule so what we will do is we will keep track of occupied rooms and see the first room which is vacated first out of the occupied rooms if our current meeting starts after meeting which ends first out of the ongoing meetings then we will simply allot this room to the meeting otherwise we will allot a new room to this meeting now let me explain what i'm trying to say if we have three rooms like this this is room 1 this is room 2 and this is room 3 let's suppose a meeting m1 is happening in room 1 m2 is happening in room 2 and m3 is happening in room three and we have a meeting m4 so we have to accommodate this meeting to any room so what we will do is we have start time and end time of this meeting uh, so what we will do is we will look in room 1 look in room 2 and room 3 and if any of these <coughs> ends before start of this meeting we will simply accommodate we simply allot that room to m4 for example if this m3 meeting ends before the start of the, this m3 meeting ends before the start of m4 meeting what we will do is uh we will allot this m4 room 3 and what if and what if this meeting starts before any of these meeting ends in that case we will require a new room for this meeting so what we will do is we will create a new room room 4 for m4 so what i am saying is that if this meeting m4 starts before end of all three all these three meetings and we will mm, then we will make a new room for this meeting m4 we will allot m4 to a new room let's suppose it's room 4 so how would we approach this problem first we will sort the meeting times array according to their start time also we have to keep track of occupied rooms such that at each step we get the room with lowest end time that is the room which is going to be vacated first we have to get that room so we will maintain a min heap for that so let me explain what we will do is first we will sort the array according to start time so that we know that which meeting is lined up next so what we will do is we will traverse the area and allocate room 
two meeting if required we come to this element its start time is 1 and end time is 18 so we'll simply push it into our main heap we push 18 we come to this meeting its start time is 2 and 2 is less than 18 so what we will do is we will push this meeting into the heap as it will require a new room as 18 as the meeting with the end time 18 is already occupying this room we have to accommodate this meeting to a new room we will push it into the main heap we'll push it send time into the main heap 11 is pushed into the main heap and now we come to this meeting we come to know that its start time is 4 and 4 is also less than 11 we will push it so we have to accommodate accommodate this meeting also to a new room that's why we will push this also into a min heap when we push 15 into the min heap our min heap will look like this fifteen now we come to this element its start time is 5 5 is also less than 13 we have to accommodate this meeting to a new room so what we will do is we'll push it send time 13 to main heap and our min heap will become like this now we come to this element uh, so for the first time we come to know that 15 is greater than 11 so this meeting starts after this meeting after ending of this meeting this meeting starts so basically we will accommodate this meeting into this room so we will pop this out of the we will pop this out of the min heap and push this one into the min heap So we will push this into the min heap. Now we finally come to our last element. Its start time is eighteen, and. 18 is greater than 13 so this meeting can be accommodated in this room as the meeting ends before start of this meeting so what we will do is we will push so what we will do is we will push this into the heap so in the end we will have all the meetings which require a room 
into the main heap. Uh, in other words, at the end, we will have all such meetings for which we need a separate room. So in the end, what we will do is, so in the end, our number of room becomes the size of our main heap. So now let's go to the implementation part. What we will do first is we will get the size of this vector. That is the number of meetings, total number of meetings. Then what we will do is the first and the most basic step is to sort the vector. In this case, we have been given a vector. Uh, so in first we will do is, what we will do is we will first sort the vector so that we have a track of what, which meeting is next lined up as we are sorting the meetings and ascending order of their start time. Now let's make a min heap as discussed. and name this as Q. Uh, now what we will do is we will push the end time of first meeting into the queue. So this simply, the significance of this is that this will, we, we are allocating our very first room. Now what we will do is we will traverse this array. And if the start time of our current meeting is greater than or equal to the minimum of the end times of meeting that are currently ongoing, then we will simply give that room to this meeting. We'll, we'll remove that from the heap and push our current meeting's end time into the heap. So let me explain what I'm trying to say. So if we have two meetings in our heap M1 and M2 and M3 is our current meeting. So what we will do is we'll allocate, we'll first look into this one and then this one. If this is going to end, before start of this, we will simply allocate this room to this meeting. So let's suppose we have two rooms and two meetings ongoing, M1 in room 1 and M2 in room 2. And we have our next meeting lined up, that is M3. So what we will do is we will look into room 1 and room 2. And if any of these meetings meeting has ended, we'll simply move M3 into that room. We'll simply allocate M3. We'll simply allocate that room to M3. And how are we actually doing it? At each step, we are having a track of, we are having a track of meeting that ends first. That is what we are doing using MinHe. For example, if M2, M2's end time is, M2's end time is, let's suppose less than M1's end time. M1, M2 ends before M1. So in our min heap, we will have M2 at its stop. We will compare M3 with the top of our min heap. And if its start time, m 3 start time is greater than M2's end time, we'll pop this out of uh, the queue and push this into the min heap. That's what we are doing here. And while doing this process, all the rooms which have ended earlier are taken care of and the, those rooms are allocated to new meeting. 
so finally we will return the size of our cube So finally we will return the size of our queue. Now let's run our code. I'm sorry, this has to be one here. Now let's run our code once again. As you can see, we are getting correct output. So thank you.